everybody, it's Brian Elder, your Phoenix area realtor, and I am in the community of La Mira today. So we're in Southeast Mesa, and we are right across the street from Eastmark and some of the bigger master plan communities of the area. This is not a master plan community, and that's kind of a benefit in some ways because you get to save on your property taxes because you're not subject to the CFDs that these master plans have, and that means community facilities districts. It basically is a special property tax levy that gets sent to you, and you get to pay a little extra every year. So Eastmark, Caden, some of the places around here, they all have to pay that every year. Here in La Mira, you get to save that money, which is a great thing. So let's talk a little bit more about this community before we head inside to check out the model home that we're gonna look at today. So they have a beautiful park that's right in front of me. It's got a big playground for the kiddos, some covered picnic areas, and it also has a very nice community pool. So you still get some amenities that you get with the master plan without paying those extra property taxes. HOA dues are 113 a month, so that's also a little bit lower than you see in a lot of places, and you still get quite a bit of bang for your buck. So we are going to check out the Adelaide model by Taylor Morrison. So this is a single level home and it's super customizable. The model that we're gonna look at today has a casita in it. The base floor plan does not come with that. It's about a $40,000 upgrade if you wanna add that in. It's got a three car garage standard. That can be expanded all the way up to four and a half cars. So definitely lots of things you can do. Very customizable, which is always fun. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, here we are at the Adelaide. So Got a cool little kind of courtyard area here in the front. Room for a bench. And this is modeled with a casita. So again, this doesn't come with the casita. That is about a $40,000 upgrade. So that's a, gonna add some square footage to what you normally get with this. But let's check it out. And first thing I notice is a really nice, pretty entryway. Love the accent walls they put up here. And we've got a nice big dining area right as you come in. Nice and open. And yeah, lots of space in here. This is really nice. So we've got a cool built-in shelving here with the TV. Lots of big windows, as you can see. And nice and open over the kitchen. So we've got a nice island. Some pendant lights over the top. We've got the dishwasher built in right in the front here. So not a very uh, gigantic island like you see in some of these, but still a good size, very practical. And then we've got our microwave above, cabinets below. We do have the built-in cooktop, which I always like. And the hood vent over the top. And a actual double oven. This isn't an oven and a microwave, it is actually two regular ovens. And then the breakfast nook over here. So plenty of space to put that table and still be able to get out onto your patio. So definitely a beautiful home. And again, pretty customizable here with this floor plan. Lots of variations. You can add the casita, the garage. Comes with a three car garage. It can go all the way up to four and a half. So that's really incredible. And here's your pantry. Just have a look. And your little nook for the refrigerator. Awesome. Well, let's go over here and check out the master bedroom. So as you walk in, you can see over here is actually the master bath right off the entryway to it. And you've got a nice double vanity, great big mirror. And then it's got the tub down here on the end, with a window over the top. And then you've got your shower, built-in bench there. The toilet is right here. And that leads into the closet. So not gigantic, but still plenty of room. It helps go up there quite a ways, so. You'll still be able to fit a pretty good amount of stuff in here. Okay. Only thing I will say, it's a little dark in here. For some reason, maybe they, oh, yeah, 
they have some additional lights they just didn't have turned on. So that brights it up a little bit. It's early in the day. I don't know if they've had much traffic yet. So here is the bedroom. So pretty straightforward. Not gigantic, but not tiny. This is about the, in my mind, the right size because it's not taking up some of your living area while also not really doing much for you. There's the entry out there. Got that locked, so we'll go check out the patio via the living area. So let's do that real quick before we head and check out the front of the house and the casita that comes with this model. Well, it doesn't come with this model, but this model is showcasing, I should say. And here we are. So the lots are all about 7,500 square feet here in La Mira. So not, not tiny, not small. Again, we're probably in a Goldilocks size. And again, this is a single level, so you can see there's pretty good space back here. You could definitely fit a pool if you were looking to do that, or a putting green if you want to uh, work on those putts, which we all need to do. Someday I'll work on my short game. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be any better of a golfer. And they've got a little outdoor kitchen modeled over here. But yeah, pretty good space. Not gonna be crammed right up against the neighbors and yeah, definitely could put a pool here if you were looking to do that. And I like the big covered patio as well. So this is a beautiful home so far. Right now, Taylor Morrison has quite a few incentives going on, so. If you're looking for money back at closing, as of right now, I believe they're offering up to 4%. Obviously, that's subject to change depending on when you're watching this video. That may or may not still be going on, so keep that in mind. And here we've got our laundry room with the entrance out to the garage, aka the sales office. But yeah, very nice. And then a full bath, actually, right off the main part of the house here. So we've got our Vanity with a mirror, hello. Toilet and a tub and a shower. And right down the hall here, we've got another bedroom. Set up for the kiddos in this one. So you can fit a little desk and a nice bed and a standard closet. Okay, so as we head this way, we're gonna check out this side of the home. Okay, what do we got over here? We got a linen closet slash storage closet. So paint and all kinds of stuff to get out of the way. All right, here is bedroom number three. I feel like this is the tightest one. A little smaller than the other one, but still you've got room for a bed and a couple nightstands and even a dresser without it feeling too cramped. So, not small by any stretch. And then this one does have a very small walk-in closet. All right. And as we go this way, this leads to the casita. So this is pretty cool. So we've got the sitting area here kind of a little living space with a TV. As you can see, that's the window out to the front patio where we came in, and here is the second entryway. Over here we have kind of a kitchenette, so it's got a microwave, a little sink, and a mini fridge. And that leads right into the bedroom. So big windows, the accent wall and plenty of space for a big bed. We've got a room for a dresser over here. Yeah, this is nice. So the in-laws, out-of-town guests, kiddos, they'd all be pretty cozy in here. And we've got the vanity with the mirror, toilet, and there is your shower. 
And here is the secondary closet. So it's pretty big for a casita. Yeah, always a good feature. These things are really popular. And this is about a 40 ish thousand dollar upgrade which really isn't that bad a lot of times casitas are more like 80 to 100 so here is another full bath we got a couple we got a double vanity of the toilet and the shower is right around the corner and last but not least another bedroom And bed, big ceiling, and we've got a standard closet. So a very nice home. Love that you can customize it and kind of make the layout what you want. In a big, wide open living area, I always love it. And this is nice and open. I'm sure you have the option to maybe wall some of these things off, make it a study. You would have to get on and play around with their floor plan tool on their website. There's a lot you can do with this. So definitely a great option if you're looking for a beautiful home here in Southeast Mesa that's priced pretty well compared to what some of the communities around here are asking. So. That's going to do it for the tour of the Adelaide, so let's head back outside. So that's going to conclude the tour of the Adelaide model. And keep in mind that Taylor Morrison, as of this recording, has some really great incentives going on. Up to 4% cash back to you at closing, and when you think about 4% of the price of the home, that's a lot of money. So definitely take advantage of it if you're in a position to. Please reach out to me if you'd like to see these in person. Remember, you do have to have a realtor come with you on your first visit to be registered, and I would love to show them to you. So please give me a call, send me an email, or shoot me a text, and we can see Set that up. Thank you again so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you again on another model home tour.